Well, after that ending, this is going to be an interesting handshake line. Is it ever? The Flyers hang on and win this game, and a former coach of the Montreal Canadiens congratulates the associate coach who had to take over because of the illness to Claude Julien. Philadelphia Flyers win the series in six, but the Montreal Canadiens learned an awful lot about their team in the last couple of weeks here in the bubble. And they learned that they have some young players who now have some experience and they're going to be really good down the middle in the years to come. Don't yeah, you, think? you think the development of Suzuki and Kotkaniemi coming back from his time in the American League and really making an impact. Deno development. Uh, I just think there's a lot of real positives. There were a lot of positives on this night. A terrific second period. Some bad luck for Montreal in that a couple of goals were deflected in off their own sticks again in this series. You can really get a sense from Philly their belief in Carter Hart and this was a big step for him as you know how difficult a position that is in a city like Philadelphia. He grew up idolizing Price and was able to outduel Price in this six game series to win. The Canadians showing a lot of respect for their former teammate Nate Thompson in the handshake line. Also Terry Price is a, about to, after he hugs Nate Thompson, he's about to meet Carter Hart. <laughs> Good to see, and I'm sure a very respectful Hart, of course, but Price equally to make sure that he gives him a congratulations. Another fantastic playoff series for Carey Price. Carter Hart just getting going. Philadelphia Flyers advance to play the New York Islanders in round number two, and Tampa will play Boston.